Carrie Engel from Valley View Farms is here to answer your plant and gardening questions. Hello, Carrie. Hi, Lisa. This is a beautiful plant you brought along. I love this. These are just several different caladiums or elephant ears. Mm -hmm. uh, fancy. They've got some cool names. This is Fanny Munson, Frog in a Blender, uh, Little <laughs> Miss Muffet, and White Christmas, Pink Beauty in the back. Really some cool things. Great for shade. They can handle some sun, but they they need to acclimate to that and you were mentioning you have to kind of watch the watering. Exactly. If you don't water them and it gets hot, <laughs> That's they right. die. They're a tropical death. plant so they really like those conditions. Yeah. All right, let's get to the questions. Right. Last year I had a white fly infestation in my vegetable pot. As a as I was getting it ready for this year, I noticed they were still in there. Any suggestions uh -oh. on getting rid of them? Uh, there are some good insecticides out there, relatively safe to use, but double check the labels at all costs. Mm -hmm. um, the insecticidal soaps are easy to use and will kill the fl white flies on contact. A pyrethrin insecticide will leave a little bit of residue and is generally safe to use too. But really watch it if you want to go organic. There are some different things that are available as well. Okay. All right. Next question: Is it possible to transplant strawberry plants from my neighbor's garden to my own? Will they survive the move? Yeah, and that's a pretty good time, depending on just how big. Mine have really just started mm -hmm. to green up, so I can certainly take those, especially the little like babies that started mm -hmm. last year. You can take those out and move them on. And you can buy strawberries in like a roll of 25 for right. a pretty reasonable price these days. And the thing is, they multiply. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 just be careful. You may only want to get one or two, right? They're the bunny rabbits of plants, <laughs> right? <laughs> they really are. <laughs> All right, is it too late to begin a vegetable garden from seed? Uh, some things yes, some things no. I wouldn't like tomato plants mm -hmm. or peppers, but you certainly could cantaloupe and watermelon and cucumbers and squash, green beans, all that is great to grow from seed. And you can really start that right in your garden as it warms mm -hmm. up. In a week or two, you're going to see those plants coming right on up. You know, I had melons at the end of the year, but they never, they got up that big. And then we looked in there, and it was, it was terrible. It wasn't good. Okay, a friend of mine got almost 30 watermelons last year. She planted two different varieties and did really well. They do need a lot of water as they form. So do watch that. You're going to have oh. to add a little bit Maybe more. Maybe I then. didn't water them enough. You sound like a watering thing. I have a watering <laughs> problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Gary. Right, thank you. Up next, you're married.